I'm Lisa Lennox and I'm singing One Tin Soldier and also in the second act I do a Dusty Springfield uh, tribute which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Very much, yes, very, very much. Uh, I'm Matt Marr, um, I sing Do You Know What I Mean and I also have a duet with J-Mo <laughs> um, in the second act as well. And my name is Nicholas Nesbitt and I do a solo in the beginning, uh, Daydream. And um, yeah. I'm Kellen Ziffel, and I sing Woodstock and Good Lovin' and uh, Do You Believe in Magic? Hello, my name is Bethany Kovarek, and I am one of the lead dancers in the show, and one of my features is playing Mary and Along King Mary. Uh, my name is Julian Peter, I uh, sing some Neil Young. Um, Hometown! Old, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I also do uh, the Monkees theme song and some of the songs in the show. Hi, my name is Jennifer Moat, and uh, in the first act I sing Dream a Little Dream. I sing um, You'll Sing in the Sunshine, and in act two I'm singing Angel of the Morning. Uh, I'm George Krissa. I sing um, Whiter Shade of Pale and some of the Gary Lewis stuff, and um, Seasons in the Sun. <laughs> I'm Jesse Leifer. Um, I sing in the monkey set Daydream Believer, and I'm a believer in the first act. And uh, second act, do a little Gary and Lewis, uh, this diamond ring, and everybody loves clown. I'm Dale Miller. I uh, kick off the show by singing uh, Summer in the City, and I close act one with MacArthur's Park, and I, uh, I also sing a rousing rendition <laughs> of uh, Magic Carpet Ride. Yes, ah, yes. and a rousing <laughs> version of uh, another song that I think I mentioned specifically in my review. <laughs> How can I be sure what that was? Uh, I can't. Oh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> and uh, this will be an actor's choice. You can either tell me what's the most embarrassing thing that you've ever done in front of a live studio audience. <laughs> 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 You can tell me what the most gratifying thing is that you've taken away from a show. So, I have to say, being part of the Doodle Bops has given me crazy and numerous adventures. Mm -hmm. um, opening up in Madison Square Gardens was unreal, and also the Today Show. So, I mean, they're just landmarks that I'll never forget. Yeah, so pretty good memories. I'm gonna do gratitude too because I've I've been really honored to do so. You think you can dance, and it just happened. So I haven't gotten to experience everything afterwards yet, but um, I'm very excited, and it's been such a huge blessing to be a part of that. So that's what I'm grateful for. Excellent. So I have an embarrassing story. <laughs> so I was doing the Wizard of Oz at the Elgin, and in the opening number, I'm in a I'm in a tearaways, and whatever thought went through my head, I was doing a chene, which is turning, and I had to like snap out into like running man position, and I hooked my oh, thumb no. on the side of my tearaways <laughs> and ripped them off, and they were in my hand, and I was in tiny whiteies on stage in front of 50 people. So that, that took the cake for me. I was there. I would just like to say that it's so gratifying to see the audience reaction um, to any of the performances that we get to do. Um, to see an audience member be touched by the music and what we're doing on stage, I think is the most, uh, it's the best feeling a performer could possibly have. And as well to be with a group of people like this. Mm -hmm. It's a big family, which is really nice. That's one of the advantages you guys have of doing both film, theater, live theater, and, and TV and whatnot. So you've got that advantage of the, the instant gratification from an audience. Yeah. And even today at the show, some of the people that just stood up right off the bat during bows, they were having a hoot. And it was just <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'll tell an embarrassing story that <laughs> happened in this production, Summer in the City. Um, and it's so funny because I'm like, I will never do that. Uh, that will never happen to me. And lo and behold, right? Um, but it was during previews and it was our first, you know, a couple times. You're not in your rhythm and getting your stuff on and it's a quick change and you're taking this off, putting this on, right? And people are throwing things at you and you put on your shirt. So here I go, ready to go on stage. And... I didn't have my underwear on. <laughs> 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 so I'm all, 
uh, note to self, there was tights and I had my skirt on, um, but there's no kicks in, in that specific routine. And um, yeah, the audience had a great show. But I thought, um, someone pushed me on, they're like, go on! I was like, I'm not going on! They're like, go on! And, um, there I was, trying to style. Why should I kick into her face today? <laughs> To gratify, I, I don't get embarrassed too easily. So, um, j just this experience, say, same with uh, what, what Kellen's saying. The fact that we got flown out here from Calgary has been amazing. This being my first professional gig has been uh, really humbling as an experience. The fact that someone thinks I'm good enough to pay me to be on stage and sing for them. So, that's been really cool. Uh, so, yeah, this whole experience is very gratifying. Excellent. The, the best part of my job is, is knowing that I can connect with someone. Um, and as well, it's like every show that I've done has always been a new challenge. Whether um, Stratford, it was my first musical theater show. And uh, we were on this um, thrust stage. And so everyone can see everything around you. Um, I had my first line, I had to say in the show, I was Velma. So that you know was a big step. And then Rock of Ages, I was singing my first solo, so that was a step. Here I'm singing a few solos. Um, so everything is always a challenge, and I love being challenged, and so that's gratifying, knowing that you are just becoming a better artist as you go on. Excellent. Well, my embarrassing thing happened here as well. <laughs> yeah. um, it was I don't, when, one of our first shows, and um, we did our quick change, and we put it on, and I was so happy because we finally got it right, and I was adjusting my tie, and putting my little vest on and <laughs> and I went on stage and I come out and I'm singing away and do my whole first song, the whole song and then the whole other half of the song and I couldn't understand why everyone was laughing for the whole first song and the whole second song and then I look down and my fly is wide open and um, everyone yes. clapped because I finally figured it out. They're just like, just like look down, just look. Just look down. <laughs> and um, yeah, I did it out beat red as I'm probably right now because I'm still embarrassed about it. But yeah. That would stand, stand out. That would stand out. And everyone's like, no, you're on stage, you're like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Uh, for me, I have to say, the most gratifying moment in my career. Um, Horror, well, that's a word. Um, <laughs> is when I <laughs> when I got to the chance to work with Cirque du Soleil in Las Vegas. I it was a company that I never thought I would ever be a part of because I'm not a crazy contortionist or anything like that. So uh, when I got hired to be a dancer and work with m my most favorite choreographer, Wade Robson, um, and mm -hmm. it was a really gratifying experience because. Usually when you do shows or big musical shows or whatnot, it's already laid out for you and you just learn it and that's what it is. But with this, with our show, with Chris Angel Believe Show, it was a nine month rehearsal process and I got to be a part of actually the creation of the show. And to see something unfold from nothing into something and their productions are such a grand scale, it's almost like a movie on stage. So for me to experience a performer, a dancer, and then also to be on the creative side all in one project uh, and working with artists from literally around the world was the coolest thing for me and working in Vegas is, is a wild ride and I want to go back. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, less embarrassing than more mortifying, but um, the first show I ever did, um, we were doing this, we were halfway through Act One and doing a dance move that I had done a million times and this particular night, for whatever reason, my right hand slipped and coming into this, we, we were standing position into a push-up position, fell as hard as I possibly could to the stage, my right hand slipped and my face hit the stage and I knocked my two front teeth <gasps> clean out of my head, <gasps> oh! snapped off at the gums, <gasps> oh. <laughs> horrifying. On stage? On stage. Oh my god! <laughs> Full audience and... Um, so I kind of turned my head and I, I scrambled to pick up what was left of my teeth. I, I put them in my pocket and then continued to finish a seven minute dance call. Um, and, and then playing everything like this. And then at the end of the, I didn't sing luckily, it was just dancing. At the end I was supposed to yell, come on Val. And I picked up these beer bottles instead of saying, come on Val, I went, 
<laughs> because I had no teeth in my hand, and uh, it was mortifying. Oh and uh, at intermission, I was rushed to dental surgery for three hours, so it was oh my horrifying. God. Oh my! But they're they're fine now. Okay. So, Are they real? They're real fake. Yeah. Yeah, they look good. So. <laughs> well, there's at least three stories for sure that are guaranteed to get in. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anybody have a personal website or uh, a Twitter handle that they want to share? Yeah, follow me, Matt underscore Mar. <laughs> <laughs> I think I already yeah, am. Yeah. You know it, but I think it's just Lisa Lennox okay. at Gmail. Perfect. Twitter. And at Nicholas Nesbitt, or Nick Nesbitt, I believe, actually. Is. Excellent. I think I have Twitter. <laughs> it's Alan but who knows? <laughs> at Bethany Quebec. Okay. Ah, it's, it's, uh, sure, fine. Uh, Julian Paul Peter. That's, that's all it is. Excellent. Very good. I'm still working on a website myself, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm not part of the Twitter. To be tweeting. Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> uh, I Count your blessings. <laughs> Count your blessings. I don't get how it works. Okay. <laughs> I have an email. Well, yeah, I just yeah. got an email. <laughs> 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 Work on the media, work right. on the media. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter um, at jweefer. It's fun. Yeah, I don't believe in Twitter. It's against my religion. And, uh, but I am the lead singer of a Celtic rock band in Toronto. We have constant updates and gigs in the city. Oh. And uh, the band is Up All Night. It's www.upallnight.ca. And I'm the lead singer. Fantastic. Well, you guys are in between shows today. I, I can't say enough uh, thanks for taking time in the middle of a grueling uh, end of the week. So enjoy your you. day off when it comes and uh, continue good luck here in, the, in your run. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.